Guys, today we are making cinnamon roll chaffles. This is a super easy and quick chaffle that you can make. It's a sweet chaffle for when you're craving something sweet. So let's get into the video. All right, guys. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to warm up our mini dash waffle maker and we are going to set up our ingredients here and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using one large egg this is almost similar to like a wonder bread recipe um, except you're making it a sweet chaffle so um, let's start by cracking the one large egg into a little bowl and then we're basically just going to mix all of our ingredients together so then um, I'm going to just whisk up the egg here with my little mini whisk that I have and uh, once that's in I'll go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients. Okay and then right here we have one tablespoon of coconut flour. If you prefer to use almond flour you can. You're just going to use three tablespoons of almond flour instead. I just prefer to use coconut flour for sweets. So here I have one tablespoon of sweetener and I am using monk fruit and I'm going to also add in one teaspoon of cinnamon powder. And then we are going to add, guys, just a little pinch of salt. Not a lot, just a tiny pinch to bring out the flavors in the rest of the ingredients. And now the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to add in one fourth of a teaspoon of some baking powder. And that's going to help it rise just a little bit. And then we're adding in about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay, and then you just want to whisk it until it's pretty well combined, nice and smooth. And then we only have one more ingredient that we will need to add, which will be heavy cream which is something that I normally add in to sweet chaffles versus the mayonnaise. But I mean, you can make them whichever you prefer, whatever you have. It's just like the Wonder Bread recipe, um, like the Wonder Bread chaffle. You can use sour cream, um, mayonnaise, or heavy cream. I just prefer to use the heavy cream in the sweet chaffles. But basically, you want your batter to look just like that where it's just a little bit runny and this is going to make two cinnamon roll chaffles. Let me go ahead and grab the heavy cream so that we can finish off with the chaffle batter. So I'm going to add in one tablespoon of heavy cream to this batter and then we will be ready to make the chaffles. All right, and once again, just give it a quick mix. Um, and you know, you don't have to, you can just add everything in the bowl and then wh whisk it all at the end. It's just what I do. So you don't have to mix it after every couple ingredients. So you want it to look just like that. It's nice and creamy looking. Our waffle iron is hot. Our mini dash is hot. And what we're going to do now is, this is optional, but I normally spray it with some coconut spray just to keep the chaffle from sticking to the waffle maker. Now, there's two different ways that you can do this, which I will show you, um, but basically what you're going to do is add in half of your batter to the waffle iron um, and that's going to give you like a soft type of cinnamon roll um, and so if you want it like more like a cake like cinnamon roll then you can do that and I'll show you what you can do after this one if you want it to have a little bit of a crunch. Personally, for me, I like the cinnamon rolls with a little crunch, so I'll show you that in just a second. 
Okay, so it looks like this cinnamon roll is just about done. And we are going to, oops, we're just going to go ahead and remove that. And we're going to just set it here on this cooling rack so that it can cool down. So as you can see, this one is ready and we can move on to the next one. And so this next one, I'm going to show you how to give it a little crisp by using some mozzarella cheese. Just like with many other truffles, we're going to just spread a couple pieces of this mozzarella cheese onto the waffle iron. And that's going to give your cinnamon roll a nice crunch. Um, these, I like to eat it with my hand, just like a cinnamon roll. And I do like to have it with a little crunch. So add some mozzarella cheese. You don't need a lot. Just sprinkle just a couple pieces. And it actually, in my opinion, I think it brings out more of the cinnamon taste so um it is better that way in my opinion but if you don't want to put str sprinkled cheese on there then that's fine you can do it the other way just know that without the cheese you won't have a crunch but it is all dependent on what you prefer so we are going to add in some more mozzarella cheese on the top so that we can have a little crunch on both sides of the truffle so same thing we're going to close the lid and let that cook for about three to four minutes until the chaffle is done all right so it looks like this chaffle is about done let's go ahead and remove it and set this one to the side and then we can work on our topping so i just want to show you guys as you can see you can see where the cheese pieces are how it does bring out kind of like a crust to the outside of the truffle okay guys the next thing we're going to do is make this frosting i went ahead and put this uh, cream cheese into the microwave for about 10 to 15 seconds to get it softened you can also just let it sit on the counter but you see how nice and smooth it looks so you definitely want it to look like that you don't want your topping to have you know clumps and such in it so go ahead and just mix it up with that and to that i'm going to add in one tablespoon of melted butter cooled of course let it cool down a little bit and by the way this cream cheese is one ounce of cream cheese so one ounce of cream cheese one tablespoon of melted butter after it's cooled down add those together and we're going to be adding some confectioners um, sweetener to this i'm using monk fruit and i actually don't buy the confectioners i just take the regular monk fruit and i just make my own powdered so if you don't want to go out and buy powdered let me show you how you can just make your own at home it's a lot cheaper so i for example i just have this bullet that i've had forever and i just poured the sweetener in there and blended it and then it makes powdered sweetener so you actually don't have to go spend that money on another bag of sweetener um, I use the granulated a lot more so I go out and I buy the granulated and then I make my own powdered but if you have powdered in your house already perfect but just wanted to let you guys know about that in case you didn't know okay and now we're gonna go ahead and take two teaspoons two to three teaspoons of powdered sweetener and that might depend on the kind of sweetener that you're using for me, two teaspoons was enough, but you might want three teaspoons if you want it super, super sweet. So go ahead and add that in there to the mix and just give it a good whisk until it's nice and combined. You can use granulated sweetener in the icing, but um, sometimes it might give you like that grainy feel. So if you don't want that grainy feel, then use powdered sweetener. But if you don't have powdered sweetener then and granulated is all you have, then I mean, it's, it's not going to make it taste any different. Um, but yeah, so now we're going to add in a half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract and then give it a mix. And then the last thing that we are going to do is add in our butter. 
Again, this is one tablespoon of unsalted butter. All right, and that is it, guys. It is um, pretty nice and smooth. And I used these little cute little mini whisks I got from Amazon. And they are perfect for mixing in these tiny little bowls. So if you don't have one of these little mini whisks, um, they are really nice to have for these just for these tiny little bowls i always was using a fork but this is so much easier so i'll leave a link for those in the description below just in case you are interested but they're really cool they came in a two pack for like five bucks or something but anyways so now the last thing that we're gonna do is you have two options if you want it thick like that leave it alone um, and if you don't then go ahead and add in a teaspoon of almond milk to thin it out but obviously if you want to just spread it on nice rich and thick you can do that too then you don't have to add in the almond milk and this still gives it a nice little texture um, it's just not too thick so this is just the way I like it so I do add in one teaspoon of vanilla almond milk so that is what it looks like so now we are ready to put the frosting on top of our chaffles okay so let me show you how we can go ahead and top these and you have i'm going to show you two different ways that you can top them you can whether you put almond milk in it or not you can um you know just spread it on top like this which is what a lot of people do so if you want to just spread it on that's fine and it'll come out just like that they taste just as good like this um, and then let me go ahead and set this one to the side and then I'll show you what how else you can do it and this is sometimes what I do um, basically for this video I am doing this just for the picture reasons but what I another option that you can do is you can add this frosting into a small I'm just adding it to a small snack size bag and I'm gonna put swirls on top of it just to make it you know resemble more like a cinnamon roll so adding that into the bag okay so now I'm just gonna go ahead and shut the bag make sure that it's sealed kind of um, push everything to one end of the bag and I'm just going to get some scissors and just cut a tiny, tiny little piece of that corner off. And again, this is going to depend on how thick you want your swirls. I don't like them that thick. So I'm just going to cut off a tiny piece of that corner. And I do twist it a little bit just to kind of make it easier for it to come out with that pressure. So give it a little twist and then cut off just a tiny piece of that corner there. And like I said, this is optional. I'm just doing it to have a pretty picture, basically. So then you can just give your cinnamon roll chaffle some swirls on it if you want or anything that you want. You can do anything that you want with it. And that is it. So there you go. There is the cinnamon roll chaffle. And again, you guys, this is really, really good if you want something sweet. And... If you have not subscribed to the channel and you do like keto recipes like this, please make sure you hit subscribe and then turn on your notifications and I'll see you on the next one.